So in 2011, uh, the father of my agent and friend uh, died from a heart attack, and she got paranoiac. And, and, uh, and then she thought that everybody was going to die from a heart attack. Mm -hmm. huh? So she obliged everybody to, go to do this stress test. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and of course, she said, I walk every day, I have a very healthy life, I live close to nature. Oh, you know, I do archery. I, I, I don't eat a lot, you know. So I'm not going to do this test. So she insisted, insisted, insisted. And to please her... You did it. I did. And the guy said, you're going to die in 30 days. I said, oh, you're joking. He said, no. But when I arrived here, I said, I have no pain chest, I'm not tired, I have nothing. Yeah. Uh, and he said, you're going to die in 30 days. You weren't afraid when the doctor tells you you're going to die in no, 30 days? No, I was days? surprised, but not, not, I did not have time to be afraid. I said, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to a heart surgery. It was yeah. 10 o'clock in the evening. And I said, oh, I may die tomorrow. This is a two-story opera. Huh? I mean, because there are people, they know the story here. I said, if I die tomorrow, the first thing is that I spend more than half of my life with the woman that I love. How many people on this planet can say that? The second thing was, I did everything. I was totally crazy. I went to all extremes. So I have nothing to regret because I went and did everything. And you were a hippie there. on Greyhound. Yeah. <laughs> During the hippie. Yeah. During the hippie movement. Yeah. You were a hippie on Greyhound. Yeah. Third thing is that I fought for my dream. I do not took a no for an answer. I want to be a writer and I wrote. So I said, if I die tomorrow, that's okay. If I die, I'm going to die. But mm -hmm. I want to die with the same sensation that I had on November 30, 2011. This is my dream. Wow. Yeah. That's a beautiful story. Thank you for sharing. Thank you.